Well, this was a new direction for me because I've always made things in the round, sculpture. And I was concerned with going all the way around and having something interesting every inch of the way around the piece. But I wanted to do things that people could have in their homes uh, because they don't have as much room to put sculpture, so if you can hang it. Um, but I didn't really like the flatness of you know, treating this as canvas, for instance, like a painting. So that leaves wall relief. So when I'm trying to figure out how to present that, I came up with shadow box frames and an idea for domestic scene. I've always wanted the viewer to become part of the piece. So when they see this and they relate it to the, their own backyard or their living room and their laundry room and they know they leave that basket with overflowing or they know they leave too much stuff on the bed or they know the kitchen counter is filled with stuff that's still dirty and, and they become part of the work and that's a fascinating thing for me. Well, since this is the first part that I, I need to do uh -huh. is the, the wire, I need to find wire the right color, the right type, and the right size to, to show up. And I wanted it to be big enough to be really visible. thought that I work fast. <laughs> this part happens to be, but there's a lot of work that'll happen because a, a, a piece will have to connect to that. So there's a whole solder set up uh -huh. and a piece will have to connect there and then there'll have to be a different material piece underneath to make it look like a cushion. And then there'll be little pieces that once you pull, pull this up, little pieces that come out uh -huh. as though they're arms. And so there's plenty of detail to get to. If this is easy right now, that's, that's good. <laughs> One of the, the, the key feature here before I can start knowing where to place everything is I want this table at some angle. So I've, I've, I've taken the drawing, I've decided I want it straight, and I've, I, I outlined it, came up with a, a basically an ellipse, and then I've cut it out of a stiffer paper or board. And what I would do is, is find a piece of nickel, because I want this to be a light color, and a light gray color but not a bright a gray color like mm -hmm. sterling This is where the table will go, and I left it longer than I needed it so that I can trim it and make it as tight as I can later on. But that's, I can play around with the angle a little bit, but that's basically what it's going to look like. The chair needed to come out a little bit. When I got the actual table in place, uh, it had dimension and the chair can't just hang. It will 
it will sit flat on the bottom. Right. So what I did was make an angle and decide how high up, and then I measured down, echoed the, the uh, supports for the arm rest, mm -hmm. and it creates a trapezoid. Right. It's a very odd piece of furniture. It's <laughs> going to take place in a very compressed space. So I've made a grid of what the decking should look like, and I you know, checked out the spacing is wider, closer to the viewer, mm -hmm. than, so to give you the sense of depth. And in the back, it'll be all the same. It's going to be oxidized uh -huh. in the groove uh, and possibly lightly on the boards. I'll do a finish and then I'll, uh, which will clean everything, but it'll leave a scratch brush. Okay. And then I'll oxidize it and then I'll remove that so it's darker in there but lighter on this. And I'll have to do that here, but I'll be taking off a lot more to make this brighter. Uh, I may model it in terms of. Uh, get the feeling that there might be landscape behind there. There's an, so many ways you can oxidize something. And I use a chemical rather than the old liver of sulfur but because I want to make sure it takes. But I do have to clean it very, very well for it to adhere. And then I am just over in my, my tub over there and I, I scratch brush it until I get the effect I want. Because in a way, that's, it's painterly. Uh, yes. You can leave shadows when I was doing the walls for um, the walls that would be dimensional, I actually worked with it at that stage to make sure that the, the cleaning strokes kind of followed the contours of the fake perspective. Right. So. These are the broad strokes, these, these elements that you build everything else around. But as I was thinking about the table, thinking about all the little things, let me get a pointer. So I'm going to want a cup for each person, a plate, maybe a tiny little knife. I don't want to get too kitschy, but there's a suggestion that they're eating. And then a platter. Those are all suggestive things and just minimally done. The fun thing is somewhere in here I want there to be a bird. I don't know its form yet or exactly where it'll be, but in its talons, I want it to be something from the table. The 360 pieces comes from the sculptural development that I've had for years and years and years, always wanting to work larger, 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 and then uh, more expressive, more expressive. It's very ex time consuming to create in three dimensions when you're a metalsmith. People don't quite understand. It's, it's not a well-known technique, so they don't there's not a lot of publicity and that there's not a lot of understanding of how much goes into to making things. And the wall pieces came about because I wanted to get away from from the literalness of cups and start playing around with what could be. In a way to me they're left behind things. In something like kitchen there's toast being buttered, it's left, there's stacked bowls, there's utensils, there's a drawer open. There's There's been activity and it's not all cleaned up for a visitor. Living room, there's a shoe left under the couch, there's a coffee cup, there's things scattered, there's, there's a book left on the pillow, the afghan on the back is a little bit disheveled. So again, it's pretty clean, but there's always something we, we leave. People don't have a lot of room in their homes anymore, so it's, it's very difficult to place sculpture. But a lot of people can and do uh, buy artwork and put that on walls. The wall pieces would, that I'm thinking of working towards would be much larger and uh, have very subtle references. There's more human element involved, more human intrigue involved, as well as uh, some sort of missing storyline. Thank you.